Yeah, so first off, I'm I'm not going to present models, but I'm going to uh, present modeling frameworks. The the idea for the use of uh, of these modeling tools uh, in this project is is um, is for, for 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 application, for instance, in some of the national cases. So I I will go through features that 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 may talk uh, speak to that. Um, hope you're seeing the right screen. Uh, so starting from from most Moses. Um, uh, originally called the open source energy modeling system, so um, a, a, a modeling tool for uh, specifically looking at uh, long term energy system development pathways and electricity system development pathways. Um, the paradigm of, of OSMOS is, is very much the same as message and very similar to, uh, to times. Uh, so uh, I guess uh, uh, similar frameworks have been presented, so I hope you're familiar with those already. Um, Long-term techno-economic optimization. Um, also, SMOSIS, if if one develops the, the model in, in the right way, can be used as a, a partial equilibrium model, modeling tool. Um, there exist applications at global, continental, regional, national, subnational, and village scale. Uh, I've give some, I've given some links in this presentation, and I can give more. It can be uh, used both with perfect and myopic foresight, and both uh, with um, deterministic or probabilistic versions of the code. And uh, it is available in uh, GNU MathBook, Python, and um, and GAMS. And there are several uh, open uh, source interfaces available, but probably a couple are the most used uh, these days. Uh, so, in a nutshell, it um, determines the energy system configuration with a minimum total discounted cost for a time domain of usually long decades constrained by a number of things, demand for energy, available technologies, emission, um, emission constraints, and, and other constraints. Um, uh, so we are in the domain of, of optimization, and I, I won't talk about uh, the need for it or, or why, why it could be useful right now during the presentation, but happy to take some discussion uh, on, on it since it was discussed in the, in, in, in the first seminar especially. Um, uh, here, I just um, um, again uh, uh, underline that it can be applied to 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 any uh, to any region and to any scale. And here, I give some links uh, to some applications. Actually, the most recent application is a global osmosis uh, model published on on, on Nature uh, Journal, uh, no journals, and. Um, yeah, uh, you, you have the link to the to the model itself actually here. Uh, so uh, I, I think it's important um, to, to to show the the, the concept at, at the core of osmosis. So the the core elements uh, from the from the side of the user are technologies and commodities. Uh, a technology is any process, like it's 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 quite technology agnostic. So it's any process that that, that has a transfer function and takes some inputs and gives some outputs, and has uh, the user can define techno economic characteristics for it. Uh, so a technology like here can be a generic uh, gas power plant, and the commodity is the gas uh, flowing into that. Uh, now. Um, it, the, the definition of technology and commodity is flexible. The user can define whatever the user wants uh, as technologies and, com and commodities, and usually this is the first step of the modeling. So that um, the, 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 there's, uh, there are sets for these that, that the user defines, um, and they get stored in, in text files um, via the interface or, or even manually. Um, and that these will constitute the, the model structure. Um, changing the model structure and adding technologies and commodities is very, very easy and fast, and hence the flexibility of the tool. Here is an example from, from a Tunisian model that was published. You may see that there are uh, uh, different types of gas uh, power technologies, uh, different types of wind, different types of solar, etc and many more uh, can be defined. Also, individual power plants are normally modeled, especially for, for, for 
for smaller electricity systems. So th th this was an electricity system model. But then one can use this flexible definition of, of a commodity and technology to model something more than only energy technologies and can have a hydro uh, power plant, but can also um, represent a hydrological system connected to that. So, for example, a river segment, uh, which with a certain water inflow and outflow that, that feeds the storage and, and the storage either, so the dam, uh, either feeds the, the power plant or through a, a spillway goes to, um, uh, to, to a subsequent river segment. This has been used for modeling uh, hydro cascades and then uh, the, the thing can become uh, more complicated. Um, so, in, in, in terms of policy instruments that, that can be uh, modeled, well, uh, um, for, for one country or one region, for any geographic scale uh, that one uh, and geographic resolution that one might want to have, one can define emission penalties, limits, uh, uh, um, limits to activity levels of energy supply options, uh, capacity and capacity investment limits, renewable energy targets, uh, subsidies on particular technologies, uh, constraints on the growth rates of technologies and um, inter-regional uh, emission, uh, um, emissions trading uh, as well. Um, and uh, in terms of sample policy relevant questions, uh, one uh, can, uh, for example, um, uh, I, I would say that one can uh, can summarize them in, for example, what investments in energy supply options uh, are needed to meet expected uh, future demands at the lowest costs, or how can climate and energy policy targets be met at the lowest cost with available uh, or expected supply options? Um, what investments may create a lock-in into climate non-resilient infra non infrastructure and cause high no adaptation costs? These, th this type of insight is, is obtained by contrasting adaptation and no adaptation scenarios. Uh, well, SDGs, uh, well, that's the, the same as, 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 as TM, really. I, 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 I took some from, uh, from, from, from other presentations. And uh, in, in this case, if one uses for energy, of course, uh, the most insights are given for SDG 7. Um, and here are a few of the, of the, um, of the um, uh, references. Uh, bearing in mind that nowadays there are there are surely in the order of hundreds of applications of this of this modeling tool and probably uh, close uh, to the hundreds of the of magnitude for 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 publications. <laughs>